Hi, my name is Dan Lynch. I'm a wildlife education specialist with the Pennsylvania Game Commission. And today what I'm going to talk about are urban wildlife kits. Um, all 67 conservation districts in Pennsylvania now have one of these urban wildlife kits. And what I thought I would do is just give a short demonstration on the types of things that are in each kit and how you might be able to use them. Uh, so, first off, there is a lesson plan for educators. Um, so this can be used for the Envirothon, for study for the Envirothon, as well as just to teach about wildlife. And you don't have to use all the items at one time if you're just going to talk about coyotes or just going to talk about white-tailed deer. You know, you can just use the things that are in there specifically on those critters. So inside the wildlife kit, there's a list of all the items that are in here. Plus, there's four or five different types of lesson plans to give you some ideas of things that you can use uh, and how you can teach with all these uh, supplies. In each one of the kits, we also have uh, the uh, Game Commission's activity book, as well as the teacher's guide. The teacher's guide has actually eight different lessons that you can use, and all of the uh, photographs and things that are, um, and the drawings that are in the activity guide are also on our website, which is www.pgc.pa.gov. Um, also remember when you're you know, looking at stuff for the Envirothon that you can go to envirothonpa.org and get a lot of information uh, off that site as well. We also have a set of wildlife notes that are also on our website, but this has all the different birds and mammal species in Pennsylvania. So there is some materials uh, in the kit besides the pelts and skulls that might help you. Talk a little bit about the skulls. So we have, there's different skulls in each kit. Uh, but what they are is representative of herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. In this particular kit, we have a beaver as the herbivore, a mink as the carnivore, and a coyote as the omnivore. But again, there are different ones. Some of the conservation districts are gonna have extra skulls they can put inside their kits, but each kit should have at least three skulls, and there's a skull activity lesson um, in the notebook. There's also a set of rubber tracks. In this particular case, I've got the beaver hind foot, front foot, and a set of what we call replis scat. Um, there is uh, a bag that has individual scats and tracks for eight of the 12 species um, that are in here. So there's some other things that you can do simply with tracks and scat. Then the, the 12 pelts that are in here, uh, just kind of go down uh, through them. Uh, so we've got a mink in here. Um, there's a couple members of the weasel family, but we've got a mink in here. Uh, that's the, the one pelt. Uh, we also have the largest uh, rodent in, in Pennsylvania and in North America, the beaver. So we've got a, a decent beaver pelt inside. There's three canines that we have in Pennsylvania, and we have all three canines represented in the kit. There's a red fox, um, and uh, usually on most red foxes, you're going to find some sort of white tip on the tail. So we've got red fox, we've got gray fox. Um, red fox is found in all 67 counties, gray fox in most of them. Maybe not Delaware, maybe not Philadelphia, <clears throat> excuse me, or uh, like maybe lower Montgomery. It's not usually the, the type of habitat that grays prefer. Third canine is the coyote or coyote. Uh, we have these guys in all 67 counties, so we wanted to make sure they were represented in the kit. We've got a raccoon. Raccoon's pretty easy to tell with the ring tail and the black mask. We've got the possum. It's our only North American marsupial, so it's the animal that the female actually has a pouch. Um, another common critter that we have in Pennsylvania. We have a skunk. So in Pennsylvania, we have two types of skunks. This is being the most common one is a striped skunk. In Franklin County and some of the South Central counties, we have a spotted skunk, um, but most of them are striped skunks, and they can have these two white stripes. They could have one white stripe. They could be all black with a white, uh, black, all black with a white dot on the head all white with a black dot on the head. They come in a lot of different color variations, but that's a common critter in Pennsylvania. We also have the muskrat, and we end up with the white-tailed deer. So all of the deer should at least have that white um, underneath the tail. Um, and uh, again, you know, you can use these to talk about um, uh, the history of Pennsylvania. You can talk about lots of different things in related to wildlife in Pennsylvania. But what we try to do in these kits is put together a solid foundation of, of the mammals that we have and skulls that represent carnivore, herbivore, and omnivore, and a set of replitracks to help you with the Envirothon or when you're just teaching about wildlife. 